and welcome to Clapia. In this video, we will see how to enable geofencing for your application with the help of the GPS location block that is available in Clapia. Let's see how to do this with the help of an example. Now over here, I have created an application earlier for site inspection where a person can submit their exact location as well. Before submission, they can also change their location manually. Now, how does geofencing work? If you want a person to be able to submit information when they are within a certain distance or radius of a particular location, then we can configure the GPS location block for this. So let's see how to do that. We click on design app where we can edit the app and you can also see all the earlier fields. Since this site location field is actually the GPS location block and I'm going to start from scratch, I will go ahead and delete it for now. Now we click on add field and then click on GPS location. This GPS location block can be configured on the right hand panel that has appeared here. If you want to know how to use the GPS location block to capture location without geofencing, you can check out part one of this video for GPS location. Now the first thing I will do is to give a label name. I will just change this to site location. Now for geofencing, we go to the advanced option. Over here we see default to current location has been enabled. Since I want the system to automatically capture my current location, I will keep this as it is. Then allow user to manually change location. As we saw earlier in the app, I was able to change my location manually on the map and I do not want that to happen before submission, so I will keep this as disabled. Now I can enable geofencing and you can see two more options has appeared on the panel. Now under designated locations, I will have to give the exact location for the point of submission. This location will be in the form of GPS coordinates. Let's see how to get the coordinates for your location. I will click on a new tab and then over here I will click on maps. This will redirect me to the Google Maps site and over here in the search bar, I can type in my location. And you can see a pin drop has appeared on the map denoting the location. But since I am already at this particular location, I will change my site location for the point of submission. Say for example, Freedom Park will be my site location for where I want to make submissions. To get the GPS coordinates, all I need to do is right click on this particular area. And you can see the values of the GPS coordinates have appeared at the top. If I simply click on this, it will automatically get copied. Now we go back to our app, to the design app and under designated locations, I can simply paste the values. Now under radius, I can simply mention the distance at which a person needs to be to submit the information. Now, for example, I will just type in 200 meters. Now I can click on save and see how this works in our app. I click on app home and over here we can see that the default current location has been captured by the map. And underneath this, you can see an error message that says you need to be within 200 meters from the designated location. Let me zoom into the map a little. As you can see, my current location is over here and the site location for the point of submission is Freedom Park, which is over here. And I am well over 200 meters, so I am unable to make any submission. Even if I am to fill in all the details in this app and click on submit, the site location will be shaded in red, so I cannot make any submissions. This GPS location block also works in the mobile app as well. You can download the Clapia app on Play Store or App Store and view your app. And the moment you create your app, it should be readily available to use on a mobile app. So let's see how this particular configuration looks like in the mobile app. Over here, you can see my mobile screen with the Clapia app already installed. So I'll just go ahead and click on it and then click on site inspection. Over here we can see all our earlier fields on the app as well as the GPS location block. You can also see that the error message you need to be within 200 meters from the designated location has appeared over here. So even in this app, I will not be able to make any submissions. Now let's go back. Now we go back to design app. And now if I change radius to 2000 meters or rather 2 kilometers, 
I should be within the designated area to make the submission. So I click on save and let's see how this looks like. And now over here you can see the current location is taken and the error message has now disappeared. That is because I am well within the range for the designated location and I can go ahead and fill in the details. So over here I will give in the site name. Visit made will be yes. And then click on submit. All your submissions can be viewed under the submissions tab over here. Once I click on a particular submission, a right hand panel will appear capturing all the details as well as my current location. Since we have changed the configuration and we are within the designated area, we can also make submissions on our mobile app as well. So let's see how that works. Now since we are near the designated location, we can go ahead and make a submission over here in the mobile app as well. You can see that the error message is no longer appeared. So let's go ahead and fill in the information of this app. I'll give a site name first. Then I go ahead and select yes for visit made. And now I can click on submit. We can view submissions on the mobile app as well. So I can just simply click on view submissions. And you can see all our earlier submissions have also been captured in the mobile app. You can simply click on a submission and view all the details that has been captured over here. If you would like to download any submission or all your submissions, you can simply click on the option over here and it will download in a CSV format. If you have any queries regarding the configuration for geofencing or any other features in Clapier, you can simply request support by clicking on the option over here or you can email us directly to support at clapier.com and we will be happy to assist you. Thank you.